um, that, that, that nobody, it's, it's been the biggest barrier that we've had of, of uh, breaking into the marketplace in, in the 12 years. Essentially what we're doing is we're disassociating uh, hydrogen and oxygen gases from water through electrolysis. And this runs from the vehicle's power supply, uh, the alternator. And what happens is these gases get run down a delivery line into the intake of a vehicle where it mixes with the air-fuel mixture. And what happens is small amounts of hydrogen entering combustion. It creates a much more efficient burn of the existing fuel, whether gas, diesel, natural gas, propane. This vehicle is a 1993 Freightliner. It has a Detroit 60 series engine in it, uh, 411 rear ends, and a 1.2 million kilometers on it. With the nine weeks of testing that we've done, uh, and the, the, the test track, the closed test that we've used at Gimlin, it's like a washboard. It's a rough, hard drive all the time. It, it really beats up the equipment. And in nine weeks, we've never had a mechanical problem with our uh, H2 engine. It's worked perfectly. You know, we followed uh, government protocol to the T to ensure that we've narrowed down the variables, that the only difference between with our unit on and the unit not being on is the performance increases uh, are strictly attributed to our products and nothing else. This is absolutely repeatable. We set up courses where every station is set to a specific time and within, you know, on a 15-minute test, I've got it down to we're right on every second. We're not off by a second after 15 minutes, so it's very repeatable. I've tried all kinds of things like oil additives and I had one thing with the Ram Air. It gave me a little more boost, but this hydrogen, it was just something wonderful. It was, it just started to, right off the bat, I was going uphill two gears higher and I couldn't, I just couldn't believe this. The Ontario Drive Clean program, I've gone in five or six times, I have my car test, but I try and do it on a sort of a regular basis. You go in and have your car tested, your emissions are tested, and the, uh, the carbon monoxide emissions were basically zero, written on the report as zero, zero, point zero, zero. Some guys even bang the machine and they give it one of these. What are you doing? He says, well, I'm getting zero reading on my machine because it's zero. When I first drove this, the stacks looked like an old steam locomotive with a black smoke coming out, and now it's it's been cleaned right up where it's cleaner than a lot of the new trucks that I see out there with, with the emissions coming out in particular. I got up to... Uh it was 75,000 miles on an oil change. And I sent the sample in, and they said, keep using. And I thought, oh, wow. I mean, as a trucker, I know that eventually this oil is going to break down. So I changed it. According to the EPA, a 10% reduction in fuel, our, uh, every 134 of our systems will reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 5 kilotons or roughly about 37 tons a unit.